Bienvenidos, bienvenidos todos a Puerto Rico. Welcome to Puerto Rico. It is really, really a great honor to have you down here in Puerto Rico. Some of you that have had a um, kind of a, a, a rough beginning of the winter. Um, so for us it is a great honor to um, give you not only the um, warmth of our hearts, but the warmth of our sun down here. Así que bienvenidos todos a la de Um, there are some local chaps that are part of the hosting committee. Yo quisiera que eh, todos los eh, legisladores, the legislators from Puerto Rico who are here, if they would kindly just get up for a minute, eh, just so they would, be, they would be recognized as a local legislator. <laughs> I see the folks from Pennsylvania and New York go down. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I thought everyone was going to get out. Um, the um, Senate President from um, Nevada, who is a dear member of our organization, and who is a dear friend, Mo Dennis, is here. Gracias, Mo Dennis, for um, joining us. The Speaker of the House of Representatives of Puerto Rico, Jaime Perello Borras, is here. Thank you. And of course, the um, Vice President of the organization, um, Angel Cruz from Pennsylvania. Angel, gracias, Angel, for joining us. The Vice President for um, Policy, Catherine Miranda. Gracias, Angel. That's the goal, Lee. That's the Vice President for Membership is right here, my uh, dear friend from Utah, Mark Whitley. Parliamentarian is Carmelo Pios. Where is Carmelo? Here's uh, Carmelo is here. He's, he's late. Carmelo is late. So we'll, we will pull him when he gets in. And um, of course, our um, treasurer, Juan Candelaria, is here. Juan Candelaria is our treasurer. Connecticut. And our secretary from the great state of New York, allá atrás, Jose Rivera. Gracias, Jose, for joining us. By the way, if you see Jose Rivera filming everything that goes on, he has the largest collection of um, videos of um, the history of the Puerto Rican community and other communities in the state of New York. So if he's filming you, it has nothing to do with um, the FBI or anything. It has to do with the fact that um, he has uh, this great collection and you're going to be part of that collection. Gracias, Jose, for being the historian of this group as well. Um, here are uh, three former presidents that I call out their names um, yesterday, and I would like to do the same right now. Um, of course, my predecessor, Mini Gonzalez from Connecticut, is here. Uh, my dear friend, Joe Miro from Delaware. yesterday, some of you were not there yesterday, he, he won the um, golf tournament yesterday. Whether he won or not, we don't know, but he won. Just he won, okay, he won. That's, that's, that's right, that's right, exactamente. And um, Felix Ortiz from um, New York is here today. So he that, <laughs> Anyhow, I don't want to take too long um, as part of these introductions. Um, you're all special, you're all very important um, state representatives and senators. Some of you have just been elected, and why don't I do that? The um, new members who were just elected, if they could just get up so we know who you are, if they are here today. If there's one word that describes this organization, is um, the word familia. We have, we're, we're big enough to have a great impact throughout <clears throat> the 50 states, Yet we're small enough that we consider ourselves family members. And we have been uh, able to um, develop those relationships in a very special way. Now, let me give you some numbers before I introduce the first panel today. As of today, we have 367, almost 400, 367 um, state legislators who are um, Hispanic. Um, 237 are Democrats, 47 are Republicans. We are a bipartisan organization and we have in our, in our um, room today both members from the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. Those are great numbers. Those are really, really great numbers. 
those who started the organization um, about 20, 25 years, exactly 25 years ago, never thought that we would be reaching these numbers. Um, but there's a lot more work to be done. And part of the um, theme for this next couple of days is not only how do we get involved in our different policy issues, but how do we really encourage others like you, like yourselves, to run for office? How do we make them stronger? How do we inspire younger generations of um, Latinos throughout the United States to run for office? So I'm very honored, very happy, and I'm um, uh, very inspired by all of you. There's a lot of energy in this room, and, and that energy, I hope, um, remains with us for the next couple of days. As we uh, begin this 12th annual convention of the um, National Hispanic Caucus of State Legislators, on a personal note, you're in my hometown, you're in San Juan. It's a great time to be in San Juan. Take advantage of being down here. Walk around. We're leaving plenty of time for you to um, uh, get to know the city. Get to know some of you were in the old city last night. Um, I spoke to the mayor at 2 a.m. And um, the mayor was saying that she was almost ready to shut down the city because some of these natures were taking over um, <laughs> the, 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 some of the bars out there. So, uh, this afternoon we'll have an opportunity to visit uh, uh, the uh, Martin Peña Canal. The Martin Peña Canal is a, uh, uh, it's a rough, it's a rough visit. You should go see it. Um, it's either that visit or um, uh, visit one of our local schools, one of our elementary schools in one of our public housing projects. The third visit, it's an optional visit, all three of them. It's a visit to a rehab center, a community-based organization. Uh, Fondita de Jesus, which has been working very closely um, with um, homeless uh, drug addicts in the city of San Juan. Um, so it's a, it's a, there, all three are examples of how communities are working together to try to change your own destiny. And I think that all, all three are really great examples of um, what local leadership is doing in terms of transforming their lives. Um, we also have among us the um, uh, our business board of advisors, um, they had an election yesterday. Sarah from Novartis became the new president. She's not here right now, but we'll, later on during the luncheon, we will um, be recognizing her and we'll be recognizing other members of the BBA. Will those members who are currently in the room from the BBA please stand up to be recognized? Let me just say one final thing about our BBA. We have, I have, I'm a member of about five or six different organizations, and so many um, of you are also members of other organizations. The one really good thing I, I, I find about being a member of this organization in terms of the BBA is that you become again friends with the business leaders. And I encourage those of you who are new to the organization, get to know who our business partners are. They have some great stories. They have some great research. They have been looking at, you know, at the Hispanic community throughout, you know, their uh, uh, many years, and not only from the business perspective, but from the human perspective. These are great friends and these are great allies. And it is fitting that during these visits that we have, these conventions and these meetings that we have, that we take time out to get to know our business partners. It is not just a question of the leadership getting to know them. It's not just a relationship of sponsorships. It is really a personal relationship. And to the extent that we can accomplish that, I would really uh, uh, encourage all of you uh, to take the time out to do that. Finally, let's have fun. This is a weekend to have fun. Actually, it's not a weekend anymore. Today's Monday. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. The, the governor called for a special session of the legislature, by the way. I have to convene the Senate this afternoon. So that's the fourth visit. If you want to see um, the, canyon, the, the, the canal, you want to see the schools, you want to see the Senate, come over and you'll see the Senate in the House meeting this afternoon. Not happy about that, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'm not going to cry or spill milk. Um, have fun, really. Uh, again, NACSL is about a, a big familia and it's really about enjoying each other and getting to know and making those linkages between each other. There's a very special group here from Arizona that um, will be, I guess, they will be introduced in a few minutes. 
Um, and the reason why uh, they are here has a lot to do with the hope that the mayor of San Juan was telling us yesterday. We're seeing how our children and how the children of immigrants in the United States are changing and transforming America. So I will leave that to um, Angela, Angela Romero, Representative Angela. Where is Angela? I'm right here. Right. All my lies. There we go. Am I saying something wrong? I'm stealing your lines, I'm sorry. Come over here, Angela. Angela is one of our rising stars in Utah. Let me speak of that. By the way, some, some of you were asking about um, Nellie Poe from New Jersey. She, I don't think she's in the room right now. She was taken to um, the hospital rest last night and she, uh, they did some x-rays, she's fine. She's absolutely fine. I think she has a kind of a concussion, but other than that, um, she seems to be absolutely fine. So she should be joining us, I guess, anytime this morning. So thank you so much for um, um, worrying and asking about her. So I give you now Representative Angela Romero from Utah. It's kind of sad when you're supposed to be moderating something and you're already 20 minutes over. But we're operating, I guess, on Puerto Rican title, which is like, well, this session is going to focus on education, and, and Senator Batia kind of stole all my lines. But what we're really going to focus on is how do we get young people into higher education? We are um, the fastest growing groups from communities of color in higher education, but yet many of our students um, are not completing their four year degree. And so these are kind of the questions we're going to focus on. We're going to highlight Arizona and their robotics program. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just cut this short because they printed out my talking notes and I'm over 40 now and so I can't read them that well because my eye, my vision. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to introduce our panel so we can get, um, get to the experts. Um, Ms. Gloria Bonilla Santiago, she is the director of, she's the director of Community Leadership Center at Rutgers State University and also Assembly and Woman Kihana as a professor. And then we're going to introduce Mr. Eric Waldo. He is the executive director of the First Lady Michelle Obama's Reach um, for Hire. Hi, guys. Here. And then we're going to go. We're going to introduce Miss Ana um, um, Garcia Blanca. She is Blanco. She is the founder and former director of the First Montessori um, Public School in PR. So before we get to our panelists, and if you want to learn a little bit more about them, you can go into your itinerary and it has all their bio information. I am going to introduce Mr. Freddie Lavardi from Carl Higgins High, High School Instruction. He's going to talk about the robotic program. Come on down. Let's start. Well, thank you very much for having us here. I'd like to take a moment to uh, introduce the people that came with me. This is the member, these are the members of the 2014. My partner, who's now retired, and I'm jealous every day because of that, is Alan Cameron. And, and uh, I'd actually like you to come up on stage so you can help me out with this. So if you want to come on up here, Alan. I'm not going to let you get away for free. You're retired, you get to rest more than I do, so you can work a little bit. Uh, I call these next three gentlemen kids because that's how I've always known them, but they're young men now, so I'm sorry if I keep calling you my, my students, but uh, Lorenzo Santian, Christian Arcega, and Luis Arana. When we used to do presentations, Alan and I would do these together, and we haven't done it in a while, so we might get a little rusty at this, but please bear with us. We've been asked to talk about some of our experiences with working with the students at our school and how we got them motivated. And uh, it was really simple at first. It's not until we got further into it that we started analyzing what are we exactly doing to try to get these kids. And it all started out with just wanting to have fun with kids after school to show them that math and science isn't something you get out of a textbook. It's something you can hold in your hand and use, and it's really practical. And little by little, we started finding out that things were changing and the kids were adapting a new attitude towards school. And I'd like to let Alan jump in here for a second and give some of his first impressions. 